Please tell me you're going to appeal to my humanity. Uh, actually, I'm planning to threaten you. <laughs> this is a vlog about me on scene in the Avengers for the scene simply known as We Have a Hulk. With the clip, I've actually edited the beginning down so that I could get more of the scene that I was focusing on, not just dramatic walking. Let's start off with setting and props. The setting is, you know, a fancy tower during the day. It's pretty modern and lots of wood construction and quite fancy glasswork on the outside. You should have left your armor on for that. Yeah. Seen a bit of mileage and you've got the uh, glow stick of destiny. Props are a sci-fi staff, a bottle of scotch at the bar, and the Iron Man positioning markers, which are bracelets used by Tony Stark later in the scene. There's also a fireplace and logs, as well as some gravel and stone decor in the scene, as you can see behind Loki. For the costume, hair and makeup, Stark has short hair, like most of the movie, normal casual clothes, metal band t-shirt, jeans, sneakers, that kind of ensemble, and he has a goatee. His face is slightly bruised and cut up from earlier scenes, signifying that there was a conflict earlier. Loki actually wears intricately woven and designed leather and metallic clothes or armour, has long hair, and during the scene has no noticeable bit of sweat, as if he's nervous. This should tell us a lot about the two characters and their relationship. Nothing will change that. What have I to fear? The Avengers. Let's move on to the facial expressions and body language. Stark is usually seen as relaxed and scheming. In the scene, he literally pours himself his own glass of scotch while quote-unquote threatening Loki. Would you like a drink? <laughs> Stalling me won't change anything. No, 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 threatening. No drink, you sure? I'm having one. The Chitauri are coming. Nothing will change that. What have I to fear? The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Sort of like a team. Earth's mightiest heroes type thing. Loki is confident throughout the scene, but visibly angry and annoyed. And his line delivery is actually quite aggressive. This shows that, you know, despite looking confident, he's put under a bit of stress and is ticked off. Onto the lighting and colour. It has relatively soft lighting, being in the middle of the day and being indoors. It doesn't really, isn't really too harsh or too soft, so it's only relatively soft. The colours in the tower are mostly just greys and neutral beiges, but Loki's, you know, green clothes stand out from that, as well as the Iron Man armour during the beginning of the scene that I cut out. It has some high key lighting signifying that it's in the day, as you would expect with it being day outside. And the object of importance in the whole scene, Loki's staff, is glowing quite obviously. And let's finally move on to positioning of objects in the frame. The staff is in the rural thirds area uh, during most of the scene, along with Loki, signifying that they are of importance. The bracelets that Stark puts on are also in the rule of thirds, of which are the main focus of the cutaway. Both characters are shot at just below eye level, showing that they both hold power, but equal power. This is one of my favourite scenes because of the uh, relatively basic threat of the Hulk, of which I've had to cut out because of the one minute time limit. Media studies. Hopefully this will show you what Mise on Certain looks like. Now enjoy the one minute clip I chose. Please tell me you're going to appeal to my humanity. Uh, actually I'm planning to threaten you. <laughs> you should have left your armor on for that. Yeah. Seen a bit of mileage and you've got the, uh, glow stick of destiny. Would you like a drink? <laughs> Stalling me won't change anything. No, 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 threatening. No drink, you sure? I'm having one. The Chitauri are coming. Nothing will change that. What have I to fear? 
The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Sort of like a team. Earth's mightiest heroes type thing. Yes. I've met them. Yeah. Takes us a while to get any traction, I'll give you that one. But let's do a head count here. Your brother, the demigod. A super soldier, a living legend who kind of lives up to the legend. A man with breathtaking anger management issues. A couple of master assassins and you, big fella. You've managed to piss off every single one of them. That was the plan.